everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, C6 Outdoor. This is their product. This is the lightest rooftop tent you're gonna find on the market, the Rev Tent. All right guys, so this is the C6 Outdoor Rev Tent and the C6 Platform. You can get just the tent. Um, you, I elected to get the platform with it just because I wanted to put it on my off-road trailer. Um, that way I can utilize it on the trailer. I could utilize it on the top of my Jeep, in the back of a pickup truck, on the ground, so on and so forth. So anyway, this is in the storage position. Basically when you're running down the road, this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, to get it off the uh, rack itself or the platform itself, you just take these pins on either side, just go ahead and unscrew them, and then just pop those right off, and there's one on each corner. So in a previous video that you guys may have seen, I put the platform together for this tent. You can get the tent with or without the platform. I elected to get the platform just because I wanted to put this on my Overland trailer. You can use the platform on top of a vehicle as well. Um, I could put it on the top of my Wrangler, on the Gladiator, so on and so forth. You can also use this tent without the platform. You can use it in the bed of a truck. You can use it on the ground. You could throw it on the top of a vehicle as long as you had a good way to secure it. It's got multiple different ways you can use it and that's why I really like this option. Um, that is super lightweight, under 25 pounds, that's amazing. A lot of these overland rigs that people build, they're just, they're over their max capacity. A tent like this solves a lot of those issues. So now that I have the tent off from the platform, out of the storage position when you're running down the road, we'll take it off the rest of the way. Let's open the platform up, secure it to the platform, and then open it up so you guys can see it. Now that we have the tent off, we're gonna go ahead and open the platform up. We'll just undo these latches here. And then this will swing right on open. Now with the platform open, you can see there's a little bit of a sag right here, and that's just because this portion of it needs to be supported with this. This is the ladder that you're gonna hook up to this side. Oh, it looks like I got company. Some guy mountain here in the middle of nowhere and some guy's gonna park right next to me. At least he's got a cool truck. So once you have this ladder lined up with the rack system, you're just gonna line it up there and then these pins are just gonna push right in. So essentially this ladder is gonna be your support system for this side of the platform. So you wanna make sure you raise it or lower it to the point where it's gonna be level. And then that way, this is gonna be able to support you and the tent when everything is up here. All right, so now that we have our platform opened up, we can go ahead and get the tent set up. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. I could put the tent right on the rack itself and open it up on there. Um, however, most people I feel like are probably gonna set this thing up on the ground and then raise it to wherever they need to put it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set it up on the ground and then we'll set it up here on the platform and I'll show you guys how to secure it up there after we get it up there. All right, so let's get it off the truck bed here. Get it down here. And then just bring this Velcro up. And then we can go ahead and unzip this thing. Once I can find the zipper, here it is. All right, now that we have it unzipped, let's go ahead and lay it open. All right, so once you guys get this thing opened up, it's gonna basically look like this. It's already gonna have the mattress inside of it. You, when you first get it um, from C6, you'll have to put the mattress and everything in it. Um, I already did that at home. I, you know, I'm not gonna show you that process. It's relatively straightforward. This is just basically going to show you how to pop this thing up. So the rods are already pre-put in place as well. Um, like I said, that'll be in the initial setup when you first get it. So what you're gonna do is there's four rods and basically you pop them up in here like you would pretty much any other tent that you guys have put together in the past. So let's go ahead and do that. So you just take one of these rods and there's little grommets on the outside of the tent. You just stick them right in those grommets, pretty much just like any other tent you guys have ever set up. All right, I got the first four on this side in. Let's go ahead and get the other ones on the other side.
that we have all four of those main rods put in, as you see here, there's one more rod on this side and there's one on the other side. Basically, there's two more little grommets. Snap that in there, take the other one, and then snap it in the other side. Basically, that's just gonna hold this fly open a little bit. Let's get the other one knocked out. Like I said, that didn't take me long at all to do, maybe five minutes. So yeah, I know these newer rooftop tents can be opened up in like 30 seconds to a minute. This is gonna be a little bit longer. However, it is so much lighter than any other rooftop you guys are gonna find. Now that I have it put together, let's go ahead and put it on the platform and I'll show you guys how to secure it to the platform. So obviously now that it's fully opened up, it's a little bit more cumbersome, but it would definitely be easier with two people getting it on the platform when it's open. But let's see what we can do. That's not too bad. So obviously this is the part that if you're by yourself, you know, he might struggle a little bit just because, you know, it's, it's just, it's not heavy, it's just awkward when it's open. So right now I'm just getting it lined up in the right spot. All right, it's sitting pretty good right there, I think. Now the next step is you're gonna take these, which is the things that you use to secure the tent on when you're transporting it. You're gonna reuse them. Basically, they're gonna go in this grommet here and into this hole here on the platform, and then it's gonna basically secure it down to that platform. trying to hold the camera and screw this in at the same time. All right, we got that side in. Let's get the other three sides. Oh yeah, much easier to do without holding the camera. All right guys, so that's essentially how it's gonna look when it's up on your uh, platform rack. So like I said, it is just these four poles, one, two, three, four, you know, it's gonna hook into these grommets on each side. And then once that's popped up, you got the additional poles that are basically for your awning up there. And then you're gonna take these four screws and then bolt them down into the platform. And that's basically what's gonna secure this thing on so it doesn't go anywhere. So yes, is it more set up than a traditional rooftop tent? It is, but you gotta remember most rooftop tents are 150 pounds. That's the average weight of a rooftop tent. This thing is 25 pounds. I can lift it with one hand. So I think that's where this really shines is for people that, you know, maybe their rig is already overloaded, but they still wanna have the luxury of a rooftop tent. It's gonna take a little bit longer for you to set up. Um, however, I think the weight savings is well worth it. All right. So this is the inside of the rev tent. I would say one person easily, two people if you don't mind being close with that other person. So you and your wife, obviously my daughter and I were hanging out here when we first got this tent. I've only set this tent up one time and so this is my second time setting it up. I'm still very much a novice with it. Um, but like I said, it's really not different than a traditional ground tent setting up. So. I think it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's the perfect amount of space. It's so lightweight. You know, I think it's just, it's really well built. So inside up here, you guys do have four openings. Uh, you can use them as windows or entrances, whichever way you guys want to do it. Um, so obviously I came, I have the ladder on that side, so that's the way I popped in through. But I have you guys on the opening on the other side, which you can put the ladder on that side as well, or you can use one of the side pieces as an opening as well. Since the ladder for the platform goes on either end, I'll probably use these as for the windows permanently and either use that end that you guys are at or the end over there for the ladder side. So for those of you that are interested in the rev tent, you don't have to get the platform. Like I said, you can just get the tent itself. Like I said, it's 20 to 25 pounds, give or take. Um, but like I said, if you didn't want to use the platform, you can use this in the bed of a truck, which I'm going to show you guys next.
All right, so I have all those screws out from the end of the tent, so now it's free. I'll go ahead and lift it up and throw it in the back of the truck here. So I think the more I do this, I'll probably get better with it. I just need to figure out a good system to transfer it from one place to another with just one person. Like I said, two people, you just probably get one person on the end here, one person the other in there. You pick it up and you just walk it over. With one person, you basically got to try to get in the middle and try to pick up both ends at the same time. Nah, I figured it out. All right. <laughs> Perfect. So, like I said, we have it in the back of the truck bed now. The spot that you would normally secure this with these little grommet things, um, obviously every truck is a little bit different. You could probably get like a bungee, hook that in there and then hook it to like maybe the side of your truck on the truck bed area. Um, if you really wanted everything to be like taut. And that's why, you know, this would all be tighter if it was all secured down. However, if you're just looking to camp in a pinch and you just want to throw it in the back of your truck, it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it's heavy enough that it's not going to blow away, especially in the back of a pickup truck. But yeah, you do have that option as well. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd sleep back here. I did want to mention too, this mattress that they have for this thing, I think it's four inches thick. I think that's what they said. It is extremely comfortable. Um, I've had three different rooftop tents. The mattresses on the previous two, not the greatest. This mattress is actually extremely comfortable. Let me get on in here. Yeah. Probably the most comfortable mattress I've had in any rooftop tent. I can't even feel the bed of the truck in this thing at all because this mattress is so nice. So a couple other things I did want to show you guys while you're in here as well. Uh, pockets for keys, wallets, stuff like that. There's another one over there. There's this little zipper right here, which is like a little pass through for like a power cord. So if you want to run power in, you don't have to, um, you know, run it through one of your main windows. You just run it right through there, which that's nice. Nice little touch. Um, couple hanging uh, grommet things here. There's one, there's one here. That way, if you guys want to put like a lantern or something like that hanging there. Um, another pouch on the other side. I mean, this is me sitting up in the tent. Obviously, you're not going to be able to stand in it, uh, but there's enough room for me to sit and still have a little bit of headroom. Okay, so lastly, if you didn't have an off-road trailer and you don't want the rack to put on top of your vehicle, you don't have a pickup truck, is this tent still for you? I would say yes, just for the simple fact that you can still use this tent as a regular ground tent. That's what's nice about this. It could be a rooftop tent, it could be a truck bed tent, it could be a ground tent. It is just, it's kind of revolutionary in how they designed it because you can use it in a multitude of different ways. So those same grommets that you would use to put it in the platform here with those little screws, you can also use those same grommets for the um, ground stakes that they send you. All right, so now we have it back on the ground. So now it is essentially a ground tent again. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to set this thing up on the ground to show you guys it all staked out and everything, um, which I am gonna do at home. Um, I did not bring a hammer with me and the ground here is very, very hard. So I'm just gonna show you the breakdown process of this right now, and then we'll get it back home and I'll show you guys the, the tent there. Now that you've guys seen this thing on the platform, in the bed of the truck, on the ground, we need to go ahead and fold this thing up and put it back into its storage. That way we can get on home. All right, we'll start by doing these two grommets here. Pop those out. And then these grommets, pop those out. So this thing will not clamshell close until you take these poles and separate them a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. So right here is where they join. You just want to pop those apart. 
That way, when this thing folds over, it'll fold over really nice. Same with this one. Just go ahead and pop that apart, and then fold it over the top. All right, now we can just go ahead and close this up. Make sure we get all the material in there. Once the material's in, go ahead and start the zipper. All right, got it all zipped up. We'll go ahead and put it back on the rack. So now the only thing I have to do is go back through and take those screws and put them through the ends here to secure it in place. And there you guys have it. That is the C6 Outdoor Rev Tent. Like I said, it is super lightweight for a rooftop tent. It is very versatile. You could be rooftop tenting it with this thing. I could put it on the top of my trailer. I could put it on the top of my Jeep. I could put it in the back of the pickup truck. I could put it on the ground. You know, you can use it in a lot of different varieties. It's only 25 pounds, so super lightweight. It is a little awkward to move around with one person when it's open, but when it's closed, it's not bad at all. And this thing is very competitively priced. I think it's right around $1,000, which, yeah, it seems like a lot of money, but if you've seen other rooftop tents and what they want for them, you know, $1,500, $2,000, I've seen three, $4,000 rooftop tents. So this is very budget friendly when it comes to rooftop tents. So anyway, what do you guys think of this? Um, I think it's gonna be an awesome product. For me, um, you know, having it on the Overland trailer is probably gonna be the ideal setup because I use the Overland trailer mostly when I'm base camping. So when I'm base camping, I'm gonna set this thing up and it's gonna be up for at least several days. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video.